Hi and welcome to another YouTube video. I am especially hyped for this one and to show you what I have done because this is a project that I've done in the last two days that took me over 19 hours. Uh, as a reference, usually my builds take me between three and six or seven hours. So this was basically three times the time, but it was so worth it and was such a fun project to like hyper fixate on and I've looked at so many beautiful images of renaissance castles and renaissance chateaus so yeah spoilers this build is going to be a renaissance chateau made as a sims for a like romantic bedding venue and uh, yeah so it is definitely inspired by the pack that came out I still haven't played with the gameplay yet and from what I've heard so far from the community it's also not like I haven't missed much <laughs> like I, I have heard that sadly the gameplay doesn't really work yet but so maybe it's a good idea for me to build with it first and just like gather all of the inspiration and uh, yeah let the let the gameplay wait a little longer <laughs> um, but yeah this was so much fun to build I had a grand old time. <laughs> um, and yeah, one thing that I noticed immediately with the reference pictures that I saw of these Renaissance castles is that people in the Renaissance were obsessed with symmetry. It doesn't matter if it's like the gardens and the landscaping, everything has to be symmetrical, but also on the build itself, everything has to be symmetrical. And that was almost I would say a fun challenge because usually I have like a very organic build style. I go really fantasy-esque and sometimes play with some interesting shapes for my builds and stuff but this time you could really like take a mirror in the middle and it would be like flipped exactly um, on both sides. Of course on the interior uh, like the bedrooms on the one side look different than the bedrooms on the other side because I just thought on the interior everything else doesn't really make sense and you don't really like see the uh, like symmetry overall on the interior if you are in one room like in real life but uh, yeah on the exterior I really made sure that everything is symmetrical um, which was also very handy for like cutting this video because as you can probably imagine with 19 hours that it took to build this I had a bunch of footage of, of me building this but the nice thing was that I basically could cut out half of it and you still were able to see every single step of the process because I just doubled everything <laughs> that, I, that I've done um, and so yeah that was a bunch of fun and the reference images I just I just need to show you a few right here but they were so beautiful that I am just like I don't know I am in such a hype for building castles right now I just like I want to continue tomorrow build another castle I want to build a medieval castle I want to build a fantasy castle um, I just I just don't want to stop building castles <laughs> but I also have like so many other fun fun plans that I think I'm going to switch it up first um, and then I'm going to sprinkle in another castle hopefully very soon that would be so much fun um so yeah i hope that you like it so far um with the overall shape i knew pretty much exactly what i wanted to do pretty fast i didn't have like one reference image that i tried to copy i this time i had more like a bunch of reference images and i got the overall vibe but the shape just i don't know it was something that just came to me and that I really wanted to do so I had the shape figured out pretty quickly because it was already like so clear in my mind and that doesn't 
doesn't happen that often of course i'm always I, I always have built ideas i'm always inspired but usually when i have a built idea it's more of a general concept of what i want to do but this time i just had this clear image in mind of basically the exact castle that i wanted to build with these like yellowy white and then the brick accents and the overall shape and the like kind of tower like structure in the middle it just, it was so clear in my mind already that the base structure, like, was built pretty fast, I would say. Um, of course, just because of the sheer size of it and because everything, I also wanted to be nicely decorated with columns and with windows and stuff. It, it took a while, but it didn't take as long as I thought it would. Where I did take the most amount of time was the landscaping because I wanted it to be nicely landscaped. I wanted th there to be lots of greenery and nature around, but at the same time, everything had to be nicely curated just because because that is the style of that time that I was going for and was inspired by. So everything had to be very neat and very symmetrical, of course, and there couldn't really be a lot of like outliers, which is very different from the landscaping style that I usually do. I recently did a tiny house that also had like a very neat and almost symmetrical front garden, if I remember correctly. So I had a little bit of uh, like training and experience, but not too much. Uh, so yeah, that was definitely a challenge, but I think like in the end, looking at it, uh, of course now you you can't see the finished project yet, but I think you can see how it comes together and it just, it just was a bunch of fun and I would say it really does come together and I managed to keep everything symmetrical. Of course, like if you uh, like see something that I missed, um, I can totally understand if you have the urge to write that into the comments. However, I have already uploaded this to the gallery, my gallery ID is Sunny Creations, so I can't change anything about it now if you see something that is asymmetrical, but you can always download my build and fix any asymmetries that you may find. Uh, like as soon as it's in your game, you can do with it whatever you want. Just uh, like, I mean, if it's if it comes to re-uploads and stuff, I did spend 19 hours on this, so it's never nice if someone re-uploads without giving like credit or changing like more like a substantial amounts of stuff like if you take this castle for example and you transform it into like a haunted abandoned castle and give it a whole other vibe and stuff i totally see the the wish and the need to re-upload it and that's something where i would never say anything negative about because there's so much of like work gone into that that from another person and uh yeah i don't know so much like creative um yeah creative juices <laughs> that went into like a different iteration of this build so uh if you want to do something like that with this build you you have my go ahead but not just i don't know i don't know how i how i came up with this topic but now we get to my favorite part of the landscaping and this was something that i didn't really plan out to do i just i i don't know i just fussed around with uh circle shapes because yeah a lot of those gardens that I saw had a lot of circle shapes so I wanted to do something too and then I put two circles into each other and I played around with these like hedges that are fences in The Sims and just put them together and then made shapes with fences without thoughts really it was just like all creativity no thoughts but it worked out and i think the end product looks so cool it looks a little bit like a fancy pokeball <laughs> um I don't really know how that happened. I mean, I guess while I was uh, while I was building this, I watched the uh, 
like Pokemon Direct where they announced Gen Gen 9. <laughs> so maybe that was the influence. Uh, but yeah, I just I just wanted to make some cool shapes and I did and then I decorated with like some some greenery and also some some flowers and a fountain and it all just came together so nicely. Like this this was such a such a nice build for me because of course the last few few days the news and stuff it has been tough and this was like where I could just like shut off my brain and I just did stuff and everything worked and it looked good I, I would say and uh, yeah so that that made me really happy and this this castle was kind of my little happy place so I hope that when you download it and when you play in it maybe have your sims wedding in it it can be a little happy place for you too that would be that would make just just make me so so happy and yeah so I found in debug I found this fencing that was so beautiful and so fitting for a chateau like this especially when you translate it in modern times and imagine that there are also visitors there and stuff which are just like these um yeah i mean you can see it <laughs> i don't know i don't i don't have to explain the fans to you um but then i went back and i was kind of unhappy with the uh with the brick texture of the foundation that i put the whole castle on um and i couldn't really find a different foundation that i liked more than the brick but this brick because i have used a different brick on the build itself that i like way more like texture wise and color wise um this brick, uh, brick texture down there was kind of clashing it wasn't really noticeable i think if i would have kept it that way that would have been totally fine too but i don't know it was just bother bothering me and that is why i wanted to do something about it and then i went through the debug from the my wedding stuff pack and i found these walls and just by chance i didn't plan this but just by chance these walls had the exact height that my foundation was on and I was like okay yeah that's a sign I'm using these and so I put them as a little overlay over the original foundation texture and um, kind of uh, decorated the corners because there was always a gap on the corner and I didn't really like it but there also in the my wedding stories debug were these like um, round stilts that were going with the texture of the new foundation so so well and really gave gave it some depth because they were sticking out and it just worked together perfectly and I think it really really elevated the overall look and it also made me feel so good because I felt like I did something creative by covering up the foundation even though I basically just stumbled upon it and it wasn't really a planned thing but still I, it made me feel good made me feel good about myself and that's important too like building is all about the fun of building <laughs> um more so than about the end project product even though having a nice end product is also very satisfying and i also always like feel so happy when people download my builds and i can like i just imagine people are using my builds in in their in their gameplay or in their save files and it just I don't know it, it's just an incredible feeling for me that something that I worked on and something that I've built is in someone else's like game and in someone else's life and that just I don't know I, I always think that is such a cool feeling so it also depends on the end product but yeah the, the, the fun in building is also very nice and satisfying and just having that creative outlet is something that means the world to me and it's basically the reason why The Sims means so much to me. So yeah, that worked very, very well. But what you see me doing right now is decorating the actual 
wedding venue so the you get to the wedding look like main wedding location when you go up the stairs and then there is this really nicely shaped ro uh, room right in the middle and I decorated with a color scheme of white and green I thought that was very nice I think this was like very like I don't know white is such a nice and bright and clean color and the green gave it this like nature I don't know it made it look natural it made it look kind of like fairy tale like but not really fantasy but like how you would um, decorate a real wedding that should be that that is like wished to be inspired by fairy tales and stuff so I think it is realistic while still having this naturey uh, fantasy touch which I love <laughs> um, and then for the walls and the floor I also wanted to keep it wide as well as the furniture and I think it came out as a very very romantic uh, wedding venue the only like slight problem is that the um, the doors to come into the room are on the sides so you don't really start at the back to walk down the aisle that just wasn't possible with the layout of the castle however I think it it is not that bad because you can come in from the side and then have your walk to the back and then walk to the front and I think it's still like a nice order of doing things and at the same time it's also the sims <laughs> and in the sims uh, like it, it isn't this like big emotional reaction to like the first time seeing the bride so I think your sims are okay with your sim just walking to the end first and then walking down the aisle um, I hope that is nothing that bothers you um, again if it is then feel free to go to the uh, go to the gallery download it and change it to your heart's content and make it fit to your style of wedding or how you want to play with it I am totally fine with that but yeah now we get to the ballroom and as someone who has uh, done ballroom dancing for um, num like a I don't know for how many years. I haven't about like done ballroom dancing uh, since like three years, but before that I've done it for I think three or four years as well and I really love ballroom dancing my family has a history of ballroom dancing I um, I found my uh, boyfriends of seven years now uh, during ballroom dancing like during an actual like ball. It was uh, very romantic, <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, ballroom dancing means a lot to me at now having uh, like the opportunity to dance as a, as a couple in The Sims makes me very, very happy. Um, so I definitely knew that I wanted to have a ballroom in this castle and I managed to not only put one in, but I put two in. One has like this dark brown, slightly medieval, looking uh, like floor and walls, uh, wall paneling, um, but then has like purely white decorations, whereas the other one is like a completely white room, but then with pink decorations, and I think both of them are super cute. Uh, and in general, I think this, this whole castle is made so it's possible to have two weddings at the same time. Of course there's only one venue because otherwise it doesn't really work uh, in The Sims. I think there was a glitch with uh, there only being allowed to be one wedding venue but when it comes to the catering, when it comes to the spaces to have the celebration, there is enough space for two weddings here. I also made sure that this wedding venue looked very, very nice and magical uh, during the night time. And so, yeah, I really hope that your Sims are going to have some nice and romantic moments here. I really hope that you liked and enjoyed this video. Oh, also, one thing that I forgot to say is that I didn't show you everything from the interior, of course. There's also a grand kitchen in there. There are six bathrooms, uh, six bedrooms. There are like 
four bathrooms but with separate bathroom stalls so there is like a bunch of ways to go to the bathroom for your sims and their guests so yeah i really hope that you like this build that you enjoyed this video if you would consider subscribing or giving this video a like i would that would make me super duper happy and i hope we'll see each other again bye <laughs>